That's all we heard around uh, was Captain Sullen. He was hockey. He, he had this great dream of, of creating a hockey museum before there were any sports museums. Well, uh, James Southern was, was I think, uh, truly uh, endowed with that title of father of uh, hockey in Ontario because he was so deeply involved in the game at, at every aspect of it and his involved with, involvement with the OHA. He promoted the game wherever he, wherever he went. If he wasn't selling shoes, he was selling hockey. He was a guy that we talked about all the time. I remember we used to go to the Jock Hardy Arena, and they used to bring the NHL teams in. They were raising money for the hall, and we were all excited. It used to be in a place called the Bullpen, and it was at the end of the arena, and it was screened, and we had to stand. And we paid 50 cents to get in. We were so happy. But he was the guy that we thought as hockey at the time, and uh, we thought of the Hockey Hall of Fame, that's the one guy we thought of. Well, I mean, you think back to Captain Southern's career as a, a player, as an administrator, as a historian, uh, and what he did for, for Halls of Fame, especially in hockey. I mean, obviously he's an honored member here at the Hockey Hall of Fame. Perseverance. I think just like Captain Sutherland himself, we've persevered here. We've tried to overcome the obstacles that have been put in front of us. He was an aristocratic, big, tall. He seemed, at the time, he seemed awful tall to me. And he looked like a, a lord or something from England in that. But it was my dad and him had a real close relationship. And that's how I got to know him quite well. And uh, he was he was quite a man, boy. He had a he had he had a he had what you call a presence about him. <laughs> 